The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Joshua. Yahweh said to Joshua, This very day I shall begin to make you great in the eyes of all Israel, so that they will know that as I was with Moses, so I shall be with you. Now give this order to the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant. When you've reached the brink of the waters of the Jordan, you must halt in the Jordan itself. To the Israelites, Joshua then said, Come closer and hear the words of Yahweh your God. Joshua said, By this you are to know that the living God is with you and without a doubt will expel the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, Perizzites, Gigashites, Amorites, and Jebusites before you. Look, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of the whole earth is about to move into the Jordan at your head. As soon as the priests carrying the Ark of the Yahweh, Lord of the whole earth, have set the soles of their feet in the waters of the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan will be cut off. The upper waters flowing down will stop as a single mass. Accordingly, when the people left their tents to cross the Jordan, the priests carried the Ark of the Covenant ahead of the people. As soon as the bearers of the Ark reached the Jordan and the feet of the priests carrying the Ark touched the waters, the Jordan is in spate throughout the harvest season. The upper water stood still and formed a single mass over a great distance at Adam, the town near Zarethan, while those flowing down to the Sea of Araba, the Salt Sea, were completely separated. The people crossed opposite Jericho. The priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh stood firm on dry ground in mid-Jordan while all Israel crossed on dry ground until the whole nation had completed the crossing of the Jordan. And our response from Psalm 114. Alleluia! When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of foreign speech, Judah became his sanctuary, and Israel his domain. The sea fled at the sight. The Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams and the hills like sheep. See. What makes you flee? Jordan, why turn back? Why skip like rams, you mountains? Why like sheep, you hills? In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? And Jesus answered, not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents. He had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet with these words, Be patient with me and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancel the debt. Now as the servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him, saying, Pay what you owe me. His fellow servant fell at his feet and appealed to him, saying, Be patient with me, and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened. And they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for the man and said this to him, You wicked servant, I canceled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. That is how my heavenly Father will deal with you, unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say, and he left Galilee, came into the territory of Judea, on the far side of the Jordan the gospel of the Lord.